Hello viewers I am Aditya and today we will know why are some planets rocky why others are ball of gas why is venus like earth's every twin why does jupiter have a big red spot and why pluto is no longer considered a planet so let's travel into the space and find answer of these questions if you are new to my channel Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so you get notifications of my video. So let's start. A planet's makeup depends largely on its place in the solar system. The four inner planets formed from the debris that orbited closer to the sun. The outer planets developed well beyond the orbit of Mars from gases and ice. The eight planets and numerous dwarf planets in our solar system come in three types: terrestrial planets, these smaller inner planets which include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are made of solid matter, rocks and metals, gas giants. Jupiter and Saturn are titanic balls of hydrogen and helium. Some astronomers consider them as fade stars. Ice giants. The far-flung world of Uranus and Neptune are gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, but astronomers also call them ice giants because their atmosphere is composed mostly of icy water, ammonia, and methane. Why is Venus like Earth's evil twin? The average temperature here is more than 6 times hotter than the hottest spot on Earth, making the Venus the most scorching planet in the solar system. It's hot enough here to turn a slab of lead into a modern puddle. Sunset won't bring relief from the heat either. Day or night, from its north pole to south pole, every day of the year. Venus is locked in a never-ending heat wave. Blame the blanketing atmosphere of carbon dioxide, which is thick enough at the surface to crash a submarine. We all know about the Jupiter planet. Whenever we see the photo, there is a big red spot. What is it? Jupiter's rapid spin, its hurricane force winds, and chemical composition of its atmosphere. create colorful cloud bands that encircle the planet one of these bands contain a hurricane large enough to span three earths the great red spot has been raging for centuries why is pluto no longer considered a planet the distant cube ball of a frozen world known as pluto has always been a space oddity It's smaller than Earth's moon and follows a squashed orbit around the sun that takes 248 years. When astronomers began discovering other heavenly bodies rivaling tiny Pluto in size, they started to rethink their definition of a planet. Pluto no longer made the cut. So, what exactly is a planet? Easy question, right? After all, you are standing on one right now but the scientific definition was fairly loose until recently astronomers put their heads together in 2006 and came up with three conditions for planethood a planet must orbit the sun it must be large enough that its own gravity molds it into spherical shape and it must have an orbit free of other small objects unfortunately pluto failed to meet the third condition it was downgraded to a dwarf planet 